Now, I don't know anyone that doesn't want to make more money. When you think about making more wealth, creating more resources for you to be able to do the things that are important to you, support your dreams, support your family, not worry about having what you need available to you, this is what really wealth means. Now, wealth really comes from the word well. We want to be well, and having the resources we need allows us to be more well in our life. It reduces stress. It doesn't solve all problems, but it certainly solves all the money problems and problems that money can solve. And this is why when we think about our wealth, we all want to know how can we create more wealth? How can we be more well? And how can we use these resources to actually begin to create the life that we want? Well, we're going to today talk about what it really means to create wealth and how the greatest way you could ever create wealth is understanding how to focus on you. Now, when we think about wealth, a lot of times we think about what can we do external from us to create an opportunity to get something to us, right? So, what can I, what job could I get? What you know uh, particular you know, opportunity could I get involved in? Right, this thing out there that when I get that thing, it'll bring wealth to me. Right, so this is what we think about. And there's a lot of things we hear about. There's so many things we can do, be it real estate, be it investing in stock, investing in a, a business. There's so many things that we could do. But I want you to to really get a core principle that is so important that a lot of times really people just don't get it and they don't understand if they don't change their mind. Mindset, they're going to keep waiting for something to come and help make them more wealthy when the very thing that could make them more wealthy is not being focused on at all. So, you know, I want you to consider for a minute that when you understand that the fact that you as an individual, right, your greatest ability to create wealth is to get more things available within you that can be used to create wealth. So I cannot do something that I don't know or understand. So I have to be willing to put some things inside of myself that actually can lead to me creating more wealth. And so, you know, this is, again, something that seems so simple, but oftentimes it's misunderstood. Now, I want to go to my whiteboard for a minute and just thinking about for a minute, when we think about ourselves, right? And, um, and you know, let's just say, Let's make a person here and we got uh, all these things that we want to do, things we want to create. Right. And, um, you know, um, when you think about, you know, who we are, whatever, and the things that we're trying to get done, one of the things that we think about actually making. Right. Let me fix this a little bit. Let's say we're going to actually make an investment right in ourselves and the the two key things in being able to do that one is time the other is money so i can use both time and money uh to invest in myself so um sometimes it's just sitting down and being willing to listen to learn uh, being able to go somewhere and observe, right? Uh, whatever those things are, but I'm giving of my time. I'm setting aside time to do something that is actually creating an investment in my learning and my growth. Then there could be actual investment in money. I'm going to say with money, where I use money to get access to something, right? Access to uh, learning, access to people, access to wisdom, because maybe I'm willing to put money uh, to allow there to be an investment in me. Now, what, what comes out of this, right? So what comes out of this is we begin to create uh, a certain level of experience that comes from this, right? And, you know, a big element of this is mastery. Right. Getting to some level of mastery. In other words, where I start to really learn something and know it extremely well. And then with this experience, this is what I'm oftentimes able to translate to some 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 form of money. So a lot of times when I'm talking to people, um, you know, I oftentimes will talk to people especially that are earlier in their career. Sometimes even talk to young people and they want to get that job, you know, right away that they're making, you know, a zillion dollars, right? In the first six months, right? And I try to get them to understand this is very true for people of all ages that sometimes you have to be aware of when you're not really 
actually going for the money, but you're going for the investment that's going to lead to the money. And so being able to realize that sometimes the best thing you could ever do is make less money, but get more experience, right? To get more mastery, to get more exposure, to get more understanding. Because when you get those things and they become real to you, then you actually end up in a situation where you can take that and you can turn it in to real wealth. Now, I want to go here uh, a little bit deeper here and talking on a whiteboard. Now, you have heard me talk about um, what I like to refer to as the four M's of wealth creation. Now, one level we have is uh, muscle. OK, so we can begin to use our muscle uh, to make money. And when you think about using your muscle again, you know, what could I do? I could do, you know, fitness, you know, I can do things that, um, you know, I can lose weight. I can basically try to get more healthy, right? To be able to use my muscle, right? So this is manual labor jobs. Um, and, you know, you can maybe make up to 100K or so. I mean, if you're lucky, doing something with manual labor. And, the investment in myself would be to be more fit, to be more um, strong, flexible, uh, because it allows me to last longer, right? And to prevent injury. So here I would make an investment in these types of things, things related to fitness and weight and health and nutrition, right? Because I wanna last longer because I'm gonna be using, my asset is me, right? I'm the asset. I'm actually someone else's asset. So an asset is something that generates income, generates money. So it, it, when I'm using muscle, I'm exchanging my time for money and I'm exchanging my energy for money, right? But for them, I'm an asset. They're paying this asset, paying me a pay, you know, salary to help work in a business that's generating money for whoever owns that business. So I become an asset to that business, right? So income follows assets. So I become an asset to them. So this is one level. So the investment would be more of these types of things. Now let's look at the, the next level here, right? Which is to really begin to have a level of management skills. Right. So if I've got a level level of management skills, I've got to be able to become better uh, at working with people. So I've got to learn more about working with people. I got to learn more about leadership, for example. Right. And the more I know about working with people, the more I know about leadership. Right. Uh, the, the more I know about um, team building building teams. So all of this would be the investment that I need to make in myself to be able to create more opportunities. So if I have these skill sets, I can go for opportunities in my life, be it jobs or what have you, or even if I've created a business for myself and I know how to manage people, I'm going to be able to expand that business. I'm going to be able to do more in that business. I'm going to be able to delegate, duplicate, which is going to allow me to be able to generate more for that same business for the person who only knows how to do the thing on their own. So I can have a landscaping business and I'm the one who knows how to do the landscaping. And so I do it. And I can only make as much money as my physical body can do lines uh, in that particular business. But if I could build a team and I have a lot of other landscapers. So I'm, you know, this is also I have a skill where I understand more about training. I can carve out a team I know how to manage. I can start to create something more. Right. So maybe there could be some level of that that you see here. Now, here I can probably get into the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar range. Um, it, you know, at, you know, max where you start getting executive jobs and working a, a company and move up the ladder and you're able to manage people, people will pay you for this skill set and you have to invest in yourself, right? To be able to, you know, have, you know, people be able to pay you for this type of skill set. But you can see this is still dealing with me, right? So I'm, I'm, you know, if I look at myself over here, right? I, I'm the one that has to keep developing, right? I've got to keep developing here because uh, this is what's going to allow me to make money. 
right? But I have to begin to keep developing. So when you think about this, the, the, the next level here is actually learning how to use your mouth to communicate. So here I start learning about uh, effective communication, right? Learn about effective communication. I'm learning about uh, listening, right? I'm learning about sales, uh, how to persuade, right? Uh, all of these things, uh, this is where you see your actors and your entertainers and um, you see people who are able to write books. So even, even uh, writing is here, right? Even though we talk about the mouth, but we're, we're, we can still write the things that someone can say with their mouth, right? So it's really communication, right? Using communication. So understand that communication is a major investment. Anything you do to invest in yourself to become a better communicator is going to translate to more money. This is where you, know, you can get into you know, the, the hundred millions here, right? Um, you know, this is where you see a lot of people uh, either if they're able to communicate, persuade, talk to people, listen, sell, they're able to get to these higher levels of money making. Right. And that leads us to the highest level here, which is the mind. Right. So understanding uh, strategy, ideation, being able to come up with ideas. Right. Um, the ability to solve problems which all business is built on, right? And let me put some little dividers here. So you can see this investment in these things, uh, again, when you start dealing with the mind and what you can put in your mind, this is why it's so important to keep investing in you if you wanna to get to the highest levels. And this is where the billionaires are, right? This is where the billionaires are, is people who have the best ideas, the best strategies, so that they can actually achieve the best things. So as you can see, if you really wanna create wealth, the key is to focus on you. Make sure you're willing to do the things to invest in yourself to get the experiences that you can turn into financial gain, into wealth. And so many people want the money, but they don't want to invest in themselves. They don't want to do the things that allow them to create the experience that will allow them to be credible and, and, and uh, you know, actually equipped enough to be able to provide the services and products and knowledge that can allow them to make money in so many different ways. So people who make the most money, are people who know how to make money the most ways. And how do they learn that? It's from the things that they have got exposed to. So the quickest things that you can do to create wealth is spend more time gaining knowledge in the things that matter. And think about it, in all of those levels, you gotta make a choice. Don't wanna get around people that's teaching me more how to use my body, more people, more to teach me how to manage, teaching me how to communicate. Don't wanna get around people who are, are strategic. How do I get exposed to these different levels of skill set? so I can create different levels of value. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, this is what we're talking about here at URCO. Keep investing in your mind, being the CEO of your life, where we charge, we expand, and we overcome. Until next time, do everything you can to create wealth by starting with you. Mm -hmm.